गुड आफ्टरनून टू एवरीबडी मार्शेल बेड़गे एस ए फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस डिपार्टमेंट अन्ना साहेब आउटे कॉलेज मंसर टुडे आई विल डिस्कस द टॉपिक रिलेटेड विद द टी वाई बी एस सी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस सेमेस्टर फोर्थ पेपर सेकंड माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशंस नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू पीक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एज पर एज धिस टॉपिक इज कंसर्न इनिशियली आई विल गिव सम बेसिक बैकग्राउंड रिगार्डिंग टू इट एज पर एज माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सर कंसर्न Previously, we have collected the information regarding to what do we mean by microcontroller, their architecture, instruction set, how the programming of microcontroller can be done with the help of assembly language or C language related to Intel 8051 microcontroller. <coughs> Nowadays, embedded systems are widely used, and for the design of embedded systems. recently new microcontrollers like a pic microcontroller they they come in the market and for that purpose we must have some basic knowledge regarding to the theory of pic microcontrollers and that is the main objective of this particular topic we are not interested to discuss the, discuss the more details of pic microcontroller just from introductory point of view we are discussing this particular topic as per as <coughs> pic microcontrollers are concerned first question come in our mind what are the advancement done in the microcontroller microcontroller architectures to improve the performance execution speed or performance characteristic of it generally the processing capability of microcontroller depends on three different factors if we are interested to improve the processing capability of microcontroller three different ways are used number 1 we can increase the clock frequency by increasing the clock frequency we can increase the speed of operation of the microcontroller but one drawback is there if you increase the clock frequency at highest rate the power dissipation and heat also heat dissipation also go on increasing the second way of increasing the processing capability of microcontroller is nothing but we can able to use harvard architecture in the design of microcontrollers we can take the help of harvard architecture at this point you have to remember while designing the cpus two different architectures are used one of them is harvard architecture and another is nothing but hohn neumann architecture what is the basic difference between them just i will tell in brief only in harvard architecture for data ram and eprom rom memories or also known as code memories program memories different buses are used so that the cpu can receive the information immediately thereby increasing the operating speed important point is that different buses are used by the data ram and rom memories to increase the speed of execution while in hohn neumann architecture a common set of bus is used for both memories known as data memory and rom therefore at least we have to remember that to enhance the operating or processing capability harvard architecture is better as compared to hohn neumann architecture and third thing is that in our cpus we have to use the risc architecture you modify the architecture of cpu of the microcontroller in such a way that you can able to form the risc architecture therefore with the help of these three different ways 
we can able to increase the processing capability of the microcontroller. Here important point is that all these three different ways they are used in peak microcontroller. Therefore peak microcontroller uses these three ways. Definitely we say that peak microcontrollers are more superior as compared to the other microcontrollers. And from that point of view only, today we have to introduce the concept of peak microcontrollers. Before going to the details of peak microcontrollers, initially how these particular microcontrollers are formed with the help of RISC architecture and the another architecture known as CISC, you should have some basic distinction between them. And for that purpose, now I will proceed towards the next point comparison between RISC and CISC architecture. comparison between RISC and CISC architecture. And this is very important thing for understanding. Now in order to distinguish between them, I will write these things separately here, RISC architecture and CISC. At the beginning, we have to understand the meaning of that. What do we mean by RISC and CISC architecture? RISC, is, RISC stands for Reduced Instruction Set Computer. RISC stands for Reduced Instruction Set Computer. On the other hand, CISC stands for Complex Instruction Set Computer. I think everybody has understood the basic difference between what do we mean by RISC and CISC. The long forms are reduced instruction set computer means RISC and complex instruction set computer means CISC. Now what is the basic difference between them? We will take into account by taking different points into account. The first important point is that <coughs> Here, instructions takes one or two cycles. In CISC architecture, the instruction takes multiple cycles. Now first point that we have taken into account for comparison is nothing but in RISC architecture instruction takes one or two cycles for their execution. On the other hand, in case of CISC architecture instruction takes multiple cycles. Means what? These instructions they are executed quickly because they only require one or two cycles. Here they require multiple cycles. Therefore, automatically RISC architecture CPUs speed is increased as compared to CISC. The second point that I will take into account is instruction executed by the hardware. Instruction executed by the hardware. While in CISC instructions executed by micro programs. This point is also very important because time required to execute the instructions by the hardware is too small 
as compared to the time required for the instructions which are executed by the microprograms. Therefore, here again, in order to increase the speed of operation of the CPU in RISC architecture, instructions are executed by the hardware, while in CISC architecture, they are executed by the microprograms. The third important point for elaboration is that in RISC architecture, the instructions are having fixed format instructions. Fixed format instructions. And here, variable format. Variable format instructions. The third important distinction between them is that RISC architecture uses fixed format instructions, meaning is that the instructions are only two or four bytes, they are having a fixed format. While in case of CISC architecture, the instruction format may be single byte, two byte or three byte. From that point of view, we say that variable instruction format is used in CISC, while fixed instruction format is used in RISC. The next point that we have taken for comparison between them is nothing but here few addressing modes, few addressing modes and here many addressing modes, many addressing modes. Remember that in RISC architecture, limited number of instructions are used. They are having a fixed format and therefore these instructions uses few addressing modes, while in CISC architecture, the instructions uses many addressing modes. The fifth point we will uh, take into account for comparison is here multiple register banks, multiple register banks are used in RISC architecture. Here single register bank, already we know that the registers are located inside the microcontroller chip, that means inside the CPU. And as you go on increasing the number of registers, the data is always available for the CPU for processing. Therefore, multiple register banks always helps to increase the execution speed. While in case of CISC architecture, single register bank is used means limited number of internal registers are there they will decrease the speed of operation. The next point I will take for comparison between them is here only load and store instructions are used. Load, only load, store, only load, public store, instructions are used for memory. Only load public store instructions are used for memory. Here we say that in addition, in addition to load store, many instructions are available. Many instructions are available. In order to access the memory in CISC architecture, you can able to take the help of many instructions. Here only load store instructions are used to access the memory. Lastly, I will tell one example to you. Our uh, PIC microcontrollers like PIC 18 <coughs> family PIC microcontrollers 18F45880 
uses risk architecture is the example of it. For example, peak 18F4580 is the example of risk architecture. And here, Intel 8051 microcontroller is the example of CISC architecture. As far as this comparison is concerned, the conclusion is that our peak microcontrollers always uses the risk architecture due to all these advantages. Our 8051 microcontroller uses CISC architecture. They are having many instructions for writing the programs, but limited number of registers and other things always reduces the processing capability of it. And therefore, as compared to 8051 microcontroller, our peak microcontrollers are more powerful. From that point of view, today we have to introduce the concept of peak microcontrollers in brief only. Now we will come to the theory of peak microcontrollers. Definitely the first question come in our mind is nothing but what do you mean by peak microcontroller? Peak microcontroller history I will tell in brief. Peak microcontroller history. Actually this peak microcontroller is invented in 19 89. In 1989, Microchip Corporation, Microchip Corporation has invented this particular peak microcontroller. The peak stands for peak stands for peripheral interface interface controller. Therefore, if somebody asks you what do you mean by PIC, PIC stands for peripheral interface controller. And this versatile device is invented in 1989 by the microchip corporation from USA. Actually, it is a 8-bit microcontroller. 8-bit microcontroller having some features a small amount of data RAM small amount of data RAM few bytes of program code memory code memory like a ROM one timer, one timer, few I.O. pins in a single package, in a single eight pin package. This is very important aspect we have to keep in mind. Whenever the peak microcontrollers are invented, they are all 8-bit microcontrollers containing small amount of data RAM, few bytes of program code memory that is ROM, few I.O. ports, one timer, and all these things, they are embedded in one package, single package, that is a 8-pin. From that point of view, just to imagine, the microcontroller chips now, nowadays, they are available in the smallest package, we are calling it as a 8-pin package. As far as these microcontrollers are concerned, the many micro peak microcontrollers are fabricated and there is a family related with it known as peak microcontroller family. Peak microcontroller families. The first one is known as 10 don't care XX, then 12 XX, X, then 14 X, X. Then we say that 16, 17, X, X, X. And last one is nothing but 18, X, X, X. 
all the peak microcontrollers they are available in the family member like a 10 12 14 16 17 and 18 now from from all these family members important thing is that all they are 8 bit microcontroller chips all they are 8 bit microcontroller chips but not software compatible software compatible even though they are the family members the software written for one microcontroller can not run on the other very easily they are not 100 percent compatible we have to keep in mind now from all these family members currently nowadays the pic 18 family is widely used pic 18 family is widely used and it is a versatile family because the ICs ranges from 18 to uh, 40 pin packages different packages are there therefore depending upon the application the designer can select the peak microcontrollers and they can develop the systems my intention is that peak 18 family is more powerful as compared to the remaining family members and therefore we have to learn about peak 18 family for that purpose now I will take into account the simplified view of peak microcontroller. Now we will switch towards these particular things. The simplified view of peak microcontroller is shown in the figure. That is shown in the figure. Now if you look towards this particular figure, actually it is the internal architectural diagram, not in detail. What it include is shown in the corresponding figure. As far as peak microcontrollers are concerned, the peak microcontrollers are having a program ROM, then stack and program counter. I will tell the purpose later on. A data RAM, a e square ROM, known as data ROM again. In addition to that, there is a interrupt control logic for the operation of CPU, 8-bit CPU, there is an oscillator circuit. This is a crystal connected associated with it. In addition to that, it includes the different peripherals. It includes the number of timers, number of I.O. port lines are there, different ports are there, and other peripheral devices, they are also included in it. Here, all these things, they are connected through a data bus there is a data bus and here there is a program bus program bus there is a data bus and program bus anyway this particular simplified view of peak microcontroller is important for the discussion as well as in examination also now i will with the help of this particular architectural diagram of peak microcontroller i will explain the peak 18 features peak 18 features now i will explain the peak 18 features the first feature related with the peak microcontroller is nothing but a program rom also known as code memory you know already ROM is used for the storage of permanent programs and information is read from it. Therefore, for the storage of programs, the read-only memories are used. There are different versions of ROMs and as far as peak microcontrollers are concerned, you remember that the maximum ROM capacity for peak microcontroller is 2 megabytes. As far as peak microcontrollers are concerned, the maximum ROM capacity is in the order of 2 megabytes. Lot of memory is provided and that depends upon the corresponding uh, microcontroller family also. There are different versions. I am not interested to go into the details of that. Depending upon the type of ROM used, different versions are there. And the first version is known as 
ultraviolet e probe some my peak microcontroller uses ultraviolet e probe inside it you know that in order to erase the contents of this particular room ultraviolet light is used and it requires near about 20 seconds for erasing therefore such type of memories they are not generally used to overcome that particular drawbacks the flash room is used most of the pic microcontroller uses flash room and one example i will tell related with it is 18f 45 is one peak microcontroller where this f indicate that it is a flash memory f indicate that it is a flash room in addition to that the corresponding rooms flash room there is another uh, room corresponding to it flash then otp room one time programmable and this is indicated by 18 for example c c indicate that it is a otp version and next one is nothing but a mask room therefore depending upon the application we have to select either flash room one time programmable room or mask room chips mask rooms chips are fabricated in the factory only therefore as far as users are concerned most of the time we are using the pic microcontrollers which will include a flash rom actual in programming the second important feature is that data ram data ram as far as pic microcontrollers are concerned the data ram is maximum data ram size is here 4096 bytes depending upon the family member the size of data ram varies but the maximum size is 4096 bytes in addition to that the pic microcontroller is having data ee rom prom e square prom and its maximum size is it is in the order of 256 bytes uh 1000 i think 556 maximum size 1556 bytes this is a data eprom the data is not lost even though the program even though the corresponding power is made off and to have this particular facility generally most of the chip will include small amount of e square prom in the order of 256 bytes the next important feature is related with the <coughs> is related with the io ports io port pins in pic microcontroller it ranges from 18 to 72 pins for io operations 18 to 17 pins for io operations they are provided in addition to that the another timer other peripherals other peripherals all microcontroller chips will include the first type of peripherals we are calling them as timers four different timers generally they are located inside it there is a adc generally 10 bit adcs are used internally built the next thing is that for serial data communication a usart universal synchronous asynchronous receiver transmitter port is also provided in the pic microcontroller and in addition to that there is a watch dog timer facility watch dog timer facility therefore uh, as per as pic microcontroller sir concern all these are the different features included in the pic microcontroller this is a general diagram we will explain this particular concept by taking into account specific type of pic microcontroller and i will write the features of that 
they are also important from understanding point of view. Peak 18F4580 microcontroller features. Microcontroller features. In examination also, for short answer type questions, the examiner can ask a question on that. As far as peak 18F4580 microcontroller is concerned, here the program ROM capacity This particular microcontroller is having a program code memory capacity of 32 kilobytes. 32 kilobytes. Then data RAM, data RAM is having a capacity of 1536 bytes. In addition to that, here data E square prom is only 256 bytes. Then I.O. pins provided by the corresponding chips is 36 and timers and timers they are 4. Timers they are 4. Therefore, after explaining the general simplified view of PIC microcontroller, here I have taken specific example of PIC 18F4580 microcontroller features and we have to study the theory of PIC microcontrollers with reference to this particular PIC microcontroller known as 18F4580 microcontroller. As far as PIC microcontrollers are concerned, here I have told what do you mean by PIC microcontroller the brief history of peak microcontrollers. Then I have explained the another things, peak microcontroller family members. From that we have selected peak 18 family microcontroller chip family. I have explained the simplified view of peak microcontrollers by taking into account the general diagram. And with special reference to this, I have taken one example regarding to it known as peak 18. F4580 microcontroller and these are the different features related with it. Lastly, I will compare the performance of this peak, this peak microcontroller chips with our 8051 microcontroller. Therefore, for understanding purpose only, here we can compare, compare peak 18 microcontroller with Intel 8051 microcontroller. Remember that already I have told you PIC18 uses the RISC architecture. Therefore, execution speed or performance characteristics are too better as compared to 8051. 8051 microcontroller and PIC18 microcontroller, if you do the comparison, here PIC18 has maximum capacity of 2 megabytes ROM program code memory, which is too large. Our 8051 is having only 4 kilobytes of ROM. If you compare the data RAM, here 1536 bytes are RAM is there. 8051 has only 256 bytes. 8051 contain only 3 timers. Our peak microcontroller uses 4 timers. And 8051 has 4 I.O. ports while peak 18 has peak 18 has four near about 36 io lines for the ports anyway today we will stop here only nextly we have to explain the detail architecture of peak microcontroller family in which we have to take into account the theory of peak file register then uh, we have to take into account WREG register. In addition to that, we have to explain peak status register. 
but today we will stop here only thank you very much okay